Hi guys and welcome back to Macaroon. In this video, I made some translucent squishies that remind me a lot of pudding. Unlike mochi squishies, which have a soft powdery surface, these are shiny and jiggly to touch. All the supplies I used are part of Sophie and Toffee's June Elves box, however you can buy each one of these individually as well. I've linked everything down below along with my discount code where you can get 10% off your entire purchase. Another reason these are called pudding squishies is because the original designs of these animals are often used as pudding molds in Asia. These are incredibly cute and really rare to find for crafting. So I'm going to start with Sophie and Toffee squishy gel and the panda mold. These molds are great quality and have an extra thick base, which ensures that your gel goes in perfectly flat and won't accidentally spill or tip over. The mixing ratio is 50-50, so it's easy to measure, but I'd highly recommend using kitchen scales. This time, I'm also going to test out Sophie and Toffee's squishy pigments. I want to have an opaque white for the panda, so I'm adding quite a lot here, and I ended up making a second batch of squishy gel because the mold was larger than I expected. I had a tiny bit left over, so I'm going to try making a dual-toned squishy, which is something I've always wanted to try out. I'm pouring a small bit of white gel into the hamster mold, so it just covers the ears and back. Then I'm going to let this cure for about an hour. The trick is to let the gel cure just enough so it won't get mixed into the second color, but not too much, otherwise the two shades won't stick together. I mixed up a second batch of squishy gel and added some pigments to get this strawberry pink color. I like how this retains a tiny bit of translucency, which really looks like an edible pudding. Then I poured it over the slightly cured white gel. Once again, I had a tiny bit left over here, and I never like to waste squishy resin. Even the tiniest bit can be used for making mini squishies, so be sure to fill up any molds that you have lying around. I'm also adding some glitter inside, just for fun. These are actually eyeshadow flakes that I bought from Etsy, and they work surprisingly well inside squishies. I'm using one of these octopus molds, which you've probably seen a hundred times before on my channel. I love the shape of these because they're ideal for squishing and they don't need a lot of resin to fill. In this case, the pink gel was just enough to cover the mold and I can't wait to see how this one turns out. Last but not least, I'm going to make the lazy seal squishy. This design is perfect for beginners because it's easy to get out of the mold and you don't have to add a lot of details later on. I'm using the white pigment again and this time I added a little bit less so there's a bit more translucency. I'm also going to dust the inside of the mold using gold powder. In one of my previous videos, I found that if you mix gold dust into squishy gel, then it eventually settles to the bottom, creating a really nice effect. However, it's a bit hard to predict how much to use, so an easier and cheaper method is just to cover the inside using a paintbrush. I only needed a tiny amount for this, and I love how it looks. Now I'm pouring the squishy gel inside and leaving all of my molds to cure for a few days. So this is how they turned out. I was very pleased to see that all of these cured properly, which is always a bit of a worry when you're adding extra things like glitter or pigments inside. I can already see the gold dust through the mold of the seal squishy and it looks really promising, so I'm going to take this one out first. It's worth mentioning that both the gel and the mold are silicone based, so it can be a bit tricky to get these out. You have to work very slowly and be careful not to pull too hard or the squishy might rip. As mentioned earlier, this is actually an easy shape to get out, and I love how incredibly squishable this seal looks. I'm going to add some facial features using acrylic paint, and it's ready to go. This texture is perfect, and the gold dust is completely embedded into the surface. Unlike some of my previous squishies, this one doesn't have any air bubbles either, which I'm quite pleased about. Next, we have the panda mold. This already looks and feels just like milk pudding, and I can't wait to get it out of the mold. Once again, I'm working very slowly, and I found this part pretty funny where just the butt was hanging out. This one is a bit more opaque than the seal squishy, and it has a very jiggly consistency. I actually made a video of this that went a bit viral on TikTok, so please follow me there if you haven't done so yet. The panda design requires adding more details, which I'm going to do with acrylic paint. 
In many previous videos, I recommend mixing craft glue into paints to make it more flexible. However, I discovered that adding glue to this type of silicone squishy gel actually makes it harder to stick. So for best results, just stick with acrylic paint and you'll need about two coats to cover everything up. I wanted to make a pink panda because I thought it would fit better with the rest of the pastel colored animals. However, for some bizarre reason, this ended up looking a lot more like a dog. Let me know in the comments below if you think there should be more of a dog or panda. Now it's time to demold the two-tone hamster. This one was the trickiest because the ears are tiny and have sharp angles which can easily rip. I very nearly ripped one of them but managed to get it out in one piece by using a toothpick to loosen it from the mold. The two-tone experiment actually worked well and I love this slight gradient effect from white to pink. For best results, I think you can let the gel cure for 2 or 3 hours instead of just one, which will make the transition a bit sharper. However, another weird side effect here is that this looks more like a pig than a hamster to me because of the pink color. I think it might have been better to make the back part dark and the body lighter, just like my late hamster pudding. And finally, the octopus squishy turned out super aesthetic, a bit like glittery strawberry milk. In case you're new to my channel and wondering where I got this mold from, I actually made it myself and it's really easy to do. All the instructions are in this video here. The trick to making pudding-like squishies is to use a clear base with a white pigment and whichever other colors you want. Add tiny amounts to make sure the shade stays pastel, and also keep the mixture at 80-90% to translucency. The surface of a squishy actually depends on the inner texture of your mold, and these ones will create a lovely shiny finish. The final result are these cute pudding squishies that are loads of fun to play with. I hope you enjoyed this DIY, and please follow me on TikTok as well. I'm Joanna, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!